Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Gillian Perkins and in today's video I'm sharing with you 10 YouTube SEO tips to help you rank your videos number one on YouTube. These are the exact strategies that have allowed me to get over 16,000 subscribers and over a million views within the first six months of starting my YouTube channel. So if you want to find out how to rank your videos number one on YouTube then keep on watching. I'm so pleased to be doing this video in collaboration with my friend Jessica Stansberry. Jessica is an amazing influencer an entrepreneur who helps online business owners grow their businesses using video. I'm going to be sharing five of the YouTube SEO tips right here in this video and then after you finish this video you can head over to Jessica's video which I will link in the description bar below and you can find the other five tips so that you can learn everything you need to know about YouTube SEO. Okay so let's jump into the tips. First, you need to understand that how YouTube decides which videos to rank is based on keywords. People are looking for different topics on YouTube and they're also watching videos and seeing videos suggested in the sidebar. You need to use specific words that people are looking for or are interested in in your video's title, description, and tags so that you will show up in the search and on that sidebar and more people will watch your video. The first step to doing this is to make sure that you find some really good keywords that people are actually interested in and actually search for. So first, brainstorm a whole bunch of different ideas about what people might be searching for. Think about the real words that people would use if they were looking for a video like yours. After you've brainstormed a big list of words that people might be using, then it's time to start doing a little bit of research to figure out which of those words are actually the most popular. The simplest way to do this is just to start typing these different keywords into the search bar on YouTube or on Google. When you do this, you'll see a bunch of suggested searches pop up, and these are some of the things that people are searching for the most often. When you find these terms that people are using a whole lot, you'll want to make sure that you use those words in your video's title, description, and tags. Another way to figure out exactly which keywords you should be focusing on is to use a free extension called TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is just a browser extension that you can install on whatever browser you're using, and it will give you data on different search terms when you're doing research on YouTube. So with TubeBuddy installed, when I search for a keyword on YouTube, I see this little box pop up over on the side of the page and it gives me a rank for that keyword. It tells me how good of a keyword that is based on how popular it is, how many people are searching for it, and how competitive it is. Basically, you wanna be looking for keywords that have lots of people searching for them but aren't very competitive. Now, the reality is that most keywords that people are searching for are going to be fairly competitive, so you're just looking to find a good balance. If you can find one that is moderately popular and moderately competitive, then that's actually probably a pretty good keyword to go after but ideally you're looking for one that is very popular and not very competitive. As your channel grows in popularity, you'll be able to go after more and more competitive keywords and you'll be able to get better and better rankings for your videos. When you're just starting out, it's better to target those less competitive keywords that maybe aren't quite as popular, but at least you'll be able to rank for and start to get some traction on YouTube. Okay, so my second tip is one that I haven't heard anyone talking about, so if you do this, you will definitely be ahead of the game. And this is to use your competitor's video titles as tags on your own video. So when you're doing your keyword research and you're looking at these different keywords that you'd like to rank for and the sort of videos that if people are interested in them, they would also be interested in the video that you are making. So what you want to do is copy the title of that video exactly and then paste it into the tags section of your video and also into the bottom part of the description of your video. That way when someone is watching that video on YouTube, your video will be much more likely to show up in the suggested video side column and you will get a lot more views because of it. And if you want to be even more sneaky about it, then you can open up a private browser in your computer, go to the competitor's video, and then see what videos show up in the side column when you're watching their video. And you could use some of the more popular videos that are popping up on that sidebar as even more tags on your own video. Tip number three is to use TubeBuddy to see what keywords your competitors are successfully targeting. So whenever you're watching a video on YouTube and you have TubeBuddy installed over on the right hand side, you will see a list of all of the tags that are on that video, and TubeBuddy will even tell you how well that video is ranking for those different tags. So if you see a video that's really similar to the video that you're making and the channel that made it has a similar number of subscribers as you do, and maybe their videos are doing about as well as your videos are normally doing, then that gives you a good idea that you can probably rank for those same keywords if you optimize your video around those keywords. So if you're making a video about how to train your puppy and you go and watch a video that has that title, how to train your puppy, and you look at the tags over on the side and you see that they are ranking number five, 
for the keyword puppy training tips, then you know that puppy training tips is probably a good keyword for you to go after. Okay, now it's time for tip number four. YouTube likes to reward creators who keep people on YouTube for longer. So when someone is watching one of your videos, if they then go and watch another of your videos right after it, then YouTube thinks, oh wow, this channel's doing a great job, people are interested in watching more content, and that means that they are interested in being on YouTube to watch this creator's content. So if you can do something to make people want to watch more of your videos right after they watch one of your videos, then YouTube will actually want to give you a boost in the rankings because they want your channel to do better. So a sneaky little way that you can do this is to use your own name and or channel name in the tags section of your video. Here's what this does. This means that YouTube thinks that your videos are even more closely related to each other because it sees that they have these different keywords that are in common. So it sees that on one of your videos, your name is in the tags, and in another of your videos, your name is in the tags. And that way, when someone's watching one of your video, your other videos are even more likely to show up in those suggested videos, which means that someone is more likely to watch one of your videos after the video that they're already watching. So not only does this mean that YouTube will favor your channel, but it also means that you're getting more views right then and there because people are going to watch more of your videos in a row. Tip number five is also kind of sneaky, which makes me feel Feel like maybe I should call this video like sneaky tips to rank number one on YouTube. But anyway, my fifth tip for you is to not only put the tags in the actual tags box where YouTube tells you to put your tags, but also copy them from there and paste them into the very bottom part of your video's description. And that way you get all of your keywords both into the description and into the tags. Also, rather than trying to stuff all those keywords and make them sound natural somehow in the video's description, you can just put it all the way down at the bottom and just write tags and and then put a whole list of the tags after that. And that way if anyone sees it, they just think, oh, those are the tags, and they won't think twice about it. So I can't let you go without giving you a bonus tip, or maybe two. The first bonus tip is just make sure that you keep in mind that main big picture strategy, which is you want to find keywords that have a high search volume and low competition. The more of those keywords you can find, the better your videos will do. And bonus tip number two is decide exactly what keywords you're gonna go after with your video before you film your video, so that as you make your video, you can actually say the keywords in your video because YouTube is listening to you. Their algorithm and software has gotten a lot more advanced and they can actually listen to your videos now. Even if you don't have subtitles or closed captions on your video, they can still listen to your video, at least in part, to try to figure out exactly what your video is about. So if you say your keywords in your video, of course, in a natural conversational way, then this will actually help your video rank better on YouTube. Okay, so that is all the tips I have for you in this video, but remember, now you need to go over to Jessica's channel, there's a link down below, so that you can learn the other five tips about how to rank your videos number one on YouTube. I put together a pretty extensive checklist for you guys about all the different things that you need to do to get your video to rank really well on YouTube. YouTube. So there's a link down below where you can download the checklist. You can work through each of these things for every video you make so that your videos can rank a whole lot better. Of course, the checklist is completely free and it's really going to help you take your YouTube channel to the next level. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to Jessica for doing this collaboration with me. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I make two videos every single week about intentional living, entrepreneurship, and success and I would love to have you join me for the next one.